Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Tech Canteen in Arc Genesis Part 2. The Tech Canteen is a surprisingly useful item that is now available in Arc Genesis Part 2. It doesn't seem like much, it seems like it just holds water, but man oh man does it actually pack quite a punch. In order to craft the Tech canteen you're going to need to have access to a tech replicator which means you will have to have defeated a boss at some point to unlock the engram if you haven't done so and you wish to just unlock it i will post a cheat in the description of this video so that you can unlock the tech replicator so in order to unlock the tech canteen you will need to go to level 101 and you can see right there tech canteen so go ahead and unlock it and when you do so you will also unlock the water skin and water jar if you haven't already done so in order to craft it itself, as I mentioned, you will need access to the Tech Replicator, and you will go into the Tech Replicator and go into the Miscellaneous folder. That's where you will find the Tech Canteen. And in order to craft it, you will need Cementing Paste, Element, Metal Ingots, and Polymer. And not a whole lot of any of them. So in this case, I'm going to craft two, and I do recommend that you craft two of these things as well, and this will become clear in just a moment. In order to use the tech canteen, the first thing you will need to do is fill it with water, and to do so, you just place it into your hot bar and uh, use it near any water source, just like any other water container. But what you will notice is that suddenly you have a couple of buffs that are in your lower right corner, and we'll go through those in just a moment. But we will also notice that the tech canteen is currently showing cold. That's because the water in it is cold. You can, however, change its mode to hot. You do so by going into its context menu, and you can select the mode hot. And now if I fill the hot canteen, now suddenly I have a couple more buffs. So let's go through these buffs to tell you what they do. This may come as no surprise to you, but if you drink the hot canteen, it's going to heat you up for a while, and if you drink the cool canteen, it's going to cool you down for a while. But by how much? Well, to find out, I'm going to take off all of my armor and zero my hyperthermal and hypothermal insulation, and uh, I'm going to drink the hot canteen first, and when I do so, I will get a 120 second buff to my insulation. So let's take a look at exactly how much it does. So you can see here, I now have a hypothermal insulation of 421 and a hyperthermal insulation of minus 210. And when I drink the cold canteen, it's exactly the opposite. The hyperthermal insulation is high and the hypothermal insulation is very, very low. And the reason you want to have two canteens, one hot and one cold, is because these buffs do indeed stack. And since you get more of the buff than of the debuff, you end up with 211 in both hyperthermal and hypothermal insulation. Not only that, if you drink any water, you will also get a stamina boost for 60 seconds. And you can just go ham with this. And I think this is an amazing resource when it comes to things like harvesting or combat. You can honestly, I could not get rid of all of my stamina in 60 seconds. If that weren't enough, the Hot Canteen also gives a 10 second freeze immunity buff. So if you're fighting things like Managarmers or the Ice Titan, which can freeze you in place with an attack, uh, using a Hot Canteen will make you immune to that effect for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, the Tech Canteen does hold much more water than a typical canteen three times, is what it says on the description. And that's what makes this so surprising, is that this thing gives us so many powerful buffs, and it does so at the cost of water. If I need more buffs, I just go to a water hole and refill the canteen. It's nuts. Do you have any more tips about the Tech Canteen? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.